put on a hundred pounds of shit and walk for you know, 17 kilometers. And you can tell them how bad it sucks, but until they do it, you're gonna have no idea how bad it sucks. Dehydration, sleep deprivation, all the heavy gear, canals, soggy boots, and socks, like torn up bar and monotony. It was 126 degrees today in the shade at 12 o'clock. 126 degrees. It's hot, thirsty, you're tired, you know, or it's nighttime, you're like, I want to smoke a cigarette, but I can't because I don't want to move around and drop in my face. You know, you got shots popping off all over you, you can see impacts on the ground. But you've got no positive identification where it's coming from. And we can't shoot until we can see that individual with that weapon pointed at us. It's really hard to sit there and let someone shoot at you and wait till you can actually see them. You know, what if he shoots and kills your friend, and you know he's in that house, but because there's a family in there, you can't, you can't just drop mortars on it and blow him away, and, he, and then you've ended it. But then you've killed and made more, you know, made more enemies. So it's, it's real emotionally and mentally, it's real tough to sit there and just take it. Smoke out! Uh, and I think the first reaction you think is, where is this guy? Like. Is he looking at me? Is he looking at my friend? Is he, is he shooting directly at me? You know, and sometimes, like, honestly, at a personal level, I'm a bottom thinking, like, what is this guy thinking while he's shooting at me? Like, can he see my face? You know, is it, is it, is it a personal thing? Does he hate me directly? And then do you, do you start to hate him back at a personal let's level? Go, let's go! Let's go! Move on! Let's go! Move on! I have a man! Royce in! Let's go! Let's go! 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 Physical exertion. Uh, of golf company, uh, I had to ask more of that company than they probably thought they were capable of. But the fact that I gave them the order, they did it. Second Battalion, Eighth Marines. We took Tarawa back in World War II. Like we got to live up to that. I think we're all just trying to live in some. We're always trying to live in our big brother's shadow. You know, our guys from World War II, Vietnam, and all that. Like that's all it's about. It's about pride. No one else can take that away from us. The hard work just began, and we will do it every day for the rest of our deployment. They'll know that they did something, that they really made a difference. You know, that when their grandfathers, when they are grandparents and they're sitting around, you know, on the sofa talking to their grandkids 40 years from now, their grandkids are going to ask them what they did in Afghanistan in the summer of 2009. You know, and they'll sit up a little bit straighter and, you know, talk about what they did, you know, had a part, a significant role, and in my mind, in changing.